Hi, Cheryl Locke here for HotBlogTips.com. And in this Paint.net tutorial, we're going to add some rounded text to our images. This is great for adding a little bit of pizzazz to your image, maybe drawing some attention. And many of us also use a round avatar, and therefore we want our text to be around it. Now to start, we'll use a picture of Elroy, like in our avatar, and we're going to decide what color of text we think we want. I'm going to use black for this demonstration, but you can choose any color out of the color wheel. Also, if there's a particular color in your image you would like to match, you can simply go over to the tools box, pick the color picker, find the place on your image of the text color you would like, click it, and it will show up here. Just like that. So if I wanted to use this color of text, I could use it with the color picker. I'll go back to black just so we can see well. Now, once I've got my color picked, I'm going to go to Effects. Now this that I'm going to is a plugin that you will need to get if you don't already. I'm going to go to Text Formations, Circle Text. Here we have our circle text pop up and we're going to start adding. You need to watch here right around Elroy and you will see things as they start coming in. Make sure I spelled that right. Okay, now you can see we have some text back here, but by golly, that's not exactly what we want. I'm going to go over here and pick out a font. I'm going to pick a font that I think will be easier for y'all to see here on the video. So I'll go down and get Storybook. Still behind Elroy, but we're getting there. You can make the text larger. You can either use the up, down buttons, just like this, or you can use the slider bar. If you need to, get it approximately where you want it and then kind of make it a little bit touchy there. So now that we have our text, and I'm guessing about the size, we still can't see it. So what we're going to do is go down to radius. On the radius, we're going to start moving the buttons. And here we go. Now we can see it. We've got the first word fuzzy here. Wuzzy starts here and Anna Pals here. Since I can't see it and I sure don't want Elroy covering it all up, I'm going to go to Angle of Arc. And right now it's at 360, and that means the text is in a complete circle. So we're going to start moving this and getting it where we think it should work. Let's take it way down. There we go. I'll go ahead and use the buttons to get it a little bit closer to what I want. And now we have it over here, still partially hidden. No problem. All we need to do is go to Angle of Arc. So we're going to start moving Angle of Arc. And we can use the slider or the buttons again. And start getting it where we think we want it. Once we get it about right, and it may be a little bit off, but we're afraid to use these, we can use finer adjustments. And there we go. We've got it just almost looks pretty perfect. So this is how easy it is to put your circle text on any image. If you want it raised or lowered, there's the little X in your image here. You can pull it to the side, pull it up, pull it down, wherever you think you might want it. You can simply start moving it to get it over the exact part of the image. So just that easy. You now have something that stands out, looks different than other people's. You can put it, you know, any message you want, your brand, you name it and let it stand out. Once I've got this like I want, I'm going to click OK. Now, because I have a transparent image, when I go to save it, I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to name my file. I'm going to put this in a PNG format because of the transparency on my image. Save. Click OK. Flatten. And now I can use this button anywhere I want. If I wanted to make it an avatar, I would have probably started with it a good bit smaller and then shrank it down. 
but it's just that easy to brighten up your pictures a little and give somebody something cute to reshare. Thanks for watching, and we hope it helps you get new cool ideas for images. Please subscribe to Hot Blog Tips here on YouTube.